release of the Balloon CD6 map editor, you guys have been going absolutely crazy. There have been some mind-blowing maps, specifically 3D maps. If you look at this map, you can see that it's actually, it's a 3D map. Like it's actually 3D, which is so very cool. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your very own 3D maps. Some tips and tricks, some styles, some things that you might not know, and kind of work you through the process of making your very own first 3D map. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so here we are at the start of our map creation process. Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna ask yourself is, do I want to make a nighttime map or a daytime map? And so both of them are going to be a little bit different of what you use for the background. So basically, if you're going to be doing a nighttime map, you're probably going to want to use, well, either of these, right? It doesn't really matter too much. You can use this for the nighttime map. So this is going to be your dark area. And then you can go ahead and you're going to want to create an area, which is going to be your sky. So you can use this dark water and that's gonna be your sky. So you can drag this in over here, and this is the dark sky atmosphere. So you can kind of draw that, and you can already see that it's creating this kind of effect. Now, you wanna be able to add in some things here and there, right? So you wanna be able to add like some hills and whatnot kind of throughout it, just like that. Right, and you know, you have to play around with it, right? You know, it's not, might not be perfect at the beginning, but again, this is an art thing. This is creative, right? There's really no right or wrong. You wanna be able to do what's fun to you. You can always use these sliders to kind of turn them to make it like turn out the way. And of course, if you want it to be a daytime map, if the sky, you can click on this blue right here. And then for the main platform, you can click on green. And then immediately you can see it changes into a daytime map. So you can change that. It's probably better to start as a daytime map because it shows you some imperfections a little bit easier. So let's just go ahead and fix this up. And of course you can always add whatever effect that you want. None of it really matters. It all like works pretty well. You can try to make like a nice rainy day. Really, it just depends on what you wanna do. I mean, I'd probably avoid tumbleweeds or things like that, cause it might not work. Maybe just nice leaves coming in, right? Give it a cool 3D effect there. Let's say we wanna add a little bit of depth to our 3D map. We wanna give it a little bit of like extra, like make it seem like there's hills in the background. So we're gonna to wanna to add, we wanna make sure we don't do that. We wanna drag in this like dark grass over here. And this is gonna be kind of like our hills in the background, right? So for that, we're gonna to wanna to just kind of draw some hills here, okay? So don't worry too much about this. I like, this is not that important, but this, this is like your hills, right? And this is gonna be your background. So this can kind of like stay like this and then we can have like some hills there. And then we can also go ahead and like add, add some hills over here too, right? Change it up, you know, we don't, and remember just have fun with it. That's gonna really be your most important thing about it. It's just having fun with it, doing something like that you think is gonna be fun and kind of like goofy. Like there's really no wrong answers with it. And now that you have this, you wanna add another, whoopsies, you wanna add another third grass layer on top of it to go over it, right? And this is gonna be, your main grass area now that comes down over this, which is gonna cover all of this. It gives that nice layer to it. We're already, it's already looking much nicer. So as you can see, we already have like this kind of 3D effect. We got our main like grass area here. We got a sky and we got some background hills, which it looks beautiful already. But of course, we're gonna need to do a little bit more stuff. The most important part about this though is the feeling of 3D, right? You want it to feel like this is close and that is far away, right? So what we could probably do here is what if we have like this path here, which we're gonna kind of change, but like what if it starts here and it like comes in here? So it's gonna be like really up close, okay? And then it's gonna go over and then it'll just slide down over this hill over here. It'll probably be better. Again, take some time to really just like make it nice and try to like feel it out there. All right, we don't really need that one. And then this one can kind of come down this way. This can like rotate. So it's gonna kind of come over the mountain and now it's getting ready to like come down over it like that. 
and that's gonna be can I delete this and then like there we go all right perfect so that's gonna be that's gonna be our area and you probably want to make it a, a small path because we're gonna hide this with rocks so now this is where we can make it look like a 3d path we're actually gonna cover up things with this so we want to make sure that it's just like a plains rock right and so this is the very beginning so remember we're looking at it like this so you have to kind of get your perspective with it so this rock's gonna be kind of big and remember you want to rotate it right you want to rotate it and rotating is our best friend here so it's gonna be like just like that and then we're just gonna have to play around with this it'll take a little bit of time okay it'll take a little bit of time to get used to it and the rotating thing so there we go so that's the rotation of it and you can already see it, it it's looking pretty good there but we want to have it come down just a little bit because we want it to have it cover up the track so there's that so i'm just gonna go ahead and I mean, you need to do this for every single rock. This is probably the more tedious aspect of it, but it looks amazing once it's done. So here, let's go ahead and put that down. You really want it to make sure you're hiding the track, right? That's the most important part. So I'm just gonna go through, use different rocks, try it out, just see what feels good for your map, right? Like just try something, make see if it doesn't work, you know, experiment with it, have a good time with it, you know, just have some fun. And while we're doing this, I'm gonna, let's just speed lapse this and I will be right back. So now that we're getting a little bit further along the track as we're kind of placing these rocks here and making it, uh, making it look a little bit nicer, you wanna remember that we're really working with depth here, right? We're trying to add, make it seem like there is depth to the map, right? We want it to feel like that. And so one of the ways you do that is, remember, this is up close and this is far. So as things start to get further away from us, we want to make it smaller. So it's really important as we do this to kind of make these rocks smaller. So as you can see, like in the beginning, we made the rocks really big. We're not like really big, but like pretty big. But now as we're going through this, as you can see, we also don't want it to clip. So if it ever shows like it's clipping, just try to move it because clipping kind of breaks that immersion there. So there we go. So as you can see, it kind of looks like it's going up and then the rocks are going up with that and now it's coming down. You gotta let your imagination kind of run wild with it and have fun, but you also gotta make it, oh, that, that like looks like it just like fits right there like pretty well actually. That took a little bit of time, but now we've created our 3D path of rocks. That as you can see comes up and go and then I kind of hid the ending over there with some trees here. And so now it looks okay, but there's still not enough like stuff to make it feel really 3D, right? And that's like the whole point of this is to make it feel very 3D. Like we want it, you want to feel like you're there, right? So we want to add some really cool like depth. So these are like some nighttime trees. Obviously you can pick whatever type of aesthetic you want, but since we have kind of the daytime look and feel, we want to keep it with that type of like daytime stuff. So this tree is going to probably be our best bet, right? So let's rotate it. That looks pretty good to me. I'm, I like that. But as you can notice, there's no log underneath it, right? There's no, there's no log, which is not great. So we actually need to, to fake the log. We need to pretend that there's a log here. So we can actually just get a log. I think this one works. And then we could put this right here, which is, this might be a little silly, but let's rotate it uh, this way and then that way. That looks pretty good. That's pretty believable log. So we got some trees now, but again, we need more depth, right? And what's really cool about these trees, where my trees go, is we got the light trees and we also got these dark trees. And we're gonna use that as a shading thing to make it seem like it's the same tree. Right, so we want to add some of these trees down the line. So we have one tree here, right? And then maybe we have another one on this path here. But we want it to be a little bit smaller because we want it to add, see, there we go. Like, just like that. That's pretty cool. Maybe we make this like, let's see. Because you can see how it's creating this depth effect. So I kind of like the tree to be right here. And then let's rotate it. And then right there. I don't think we even need to show the log there. And then let's get another tree here. But we want this tree, even though it's on the other side, to be really big, right? This tree is gonna be much bigger than that tree because we're trying to create a sense of 
3D, right? And we're gonna want probably to get a log for that. So now we've got more of this, but this is where it gets fun. Let's put a tree over here and let's make this rotate it up and then around and let's make it really small, really small. Okay, maybe not that small, but just like, we want it to seem like like it's really far away there we go so we're creating this depth effect and we really want this to be the the running point like the focal point right is these trees and how we use depth to our to our advantage here right and when you're messing with an environment like this it's always nice to remember that like down is closer that's that's the key point here anything that's closer down is closer to the screen or is closer to the player, right? So see, see, since this is lower, this goes way over here. And then we can rotate it. And then I kind of want it to like hang over to the left a little. There we go. There we go. So now we got this like nice meadow as it feels like it's kind of going through. Now, well, let's go ahead and let's get one of these darker trees. Rotate it. Oh, that looks ugly. Oh, that is not, that is, that is ugly. Look at that, you can't even, okay, so we want it right there, maybe. And let's make it just tiny, 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 tiny. Tiny, 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 tiny. Look at that, there we go. I could put that like up there. Look at that, you got these tiny trees in the background, right? Like tiny little trees. We want it to be, we want it to be as up as we can without breaking that illusion. So that looks pretty good. And then, boop. Okay, this one could be, look, so we'll make this one a little bit bigger but it'll be closer. They're kind of awkward to work with, but the more details and love that you add into it, the better your product's gonna be. So you want it, you want to take some time with it. Have some fun with it. Make it your own, make it fun. No need to copy exactly what I'm doing here. Now, I'd love to add one of the green trees, but I think that might break our immersion. I think we need to stick with this one, even though the 3D on it is pretty bad. The, th the 3D model on it just does not like, that just doesn't like to do that, but that's okay. We can do that and then make it really small. And then we can put it up on the top right there. Yeah, and so it looks like this hill. So this hill looks a little bit closer than that hill too. So it even adds more depth on the hills themselves, right? And these are all little things that you can do to make it better. Now this is where like you just gotta be creative, right? Like you gotta be able to make it your own you gotta have some fun with it, right? So play around with the models. Some models work really well, right? Like I think this fence works really well, especially for this, right? So maybe I think this fence can work really to our advantage. Do we wanna have a fence like along it? That might look kind of weird. We could have it on the other side here. Like we could have it here. And I think that might actually look really nice. Like I like that. So what if we make the fence like huge here? or at least pretty big. And then the fence gets really small because everything we can add, I think is gonna be really nice. So let's add this fence and let's just let's just have some fun with this. That adds some nice little, some nice stuff there. So let's just keep thinking, through. let's go through. Oh wait, there's, there's bigger fences. I didn't even see it. And of course, I mean, you can always do some stuff with the houses, right? I think houses make really cool 3D effects. So especially if we do this and let's obviously like rotate the house up and let's turn it like let's just let's just mess around let's just see if we can get something working here All right let's just see can i mean it doesn't even have to be like it doesn't even have to be like right in your face but like just something could be cool this tree might be a little in the way what if we move this tree i don't like it. i like the tree where it is i like this tree here i think that just looks nice this house though I don't know if we have any room for this house, honestly. I think it's just like, maybe if, maybe if there's like a, like a dark house we can put way in the back, I think that could be nice. But for now, I don't think that works really well. Are we messing around with this chicken here? Oh my gosh, that looks so good! With a chicken like sideways there, let's have like two chickens and then like have this chicken, let's see like, let's have this chicken be like a little further back and like, let's see, like down like that and make it like smaller. Let's have it oh yeah like that there we go look at that so like the chickens are on the field oh man and then we need to have like another chicken like over here but this one's just like tiny like this chicken is just okay maybe that's a little aggressive maybe not maybe that's not bad 
I'm sure there's some other animals we could have fun with. But I think that works really well. Do we want, like, another chicken? I'm kind of down to get, like, another chicken, like, here. But, like, make it huge. Let's just see. Let's just see what it looks like. If it looks awkward, we don't have to do it. But maybe it could be, like, right like that. How does... Is that, like, okay? I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. It's just... It's too... It's too obvious. It's too in your face with there. So we need to get some more. We also... I'd love to get some clouds. Because right now we just have no clouds. So now we gotta figure out, we gotta, this is where it gets creative, right? Like we could do like a flower in the sky, right? But that's kind of silly. I also like this fountain. This fountain looks really good, right? Like what if we make the, can we turn the fountain like upright? Like, and then just like huge? How does that, how does this work? Okay, that looks pretty bad. Wait, what is, oh, the water just like doesn't go out right. Okay, some things are just gonna be a little bit bugged. Right, like I think that's one thing we'll have to like kind of accept is like some things are just gonna be a little bit buggy. Oh wait, I can, oh yeah, meadow. So I can do like only meadow based things. That makes things, my, that makes my life way easier. That makes life, oh, look at this. Oh yeah, 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 this thing's gonna be cool. Cause we can rotate it like this. And then really small. Cause I want this to just be in the background. What's, okay. Is it better for it to look like that? Or is it better to be doing that? I, I kind of like that. Kind of like a rotate there. And kind of just like sits. Oh man, that's nice. That's nice. There's like a little chicken over there. Nice, okay. I can work with that. I can work with that. I think we're kind of getting close to the, the idea of what we want. And then we can start adding some more like little touches here and there. So maybe just like some grass here and there, I think could be pretty nice, right? So if we get like, oh, but the grass doesn't, the grass doesn't go, through. if I can make it really big and then rotate it, how does this look? That's not bad. I think, I think that adds, right? You have to, you have to be honest with yourself. Does it add to the map or does it take away from it? Like, does it make it look better or does it make it look worse, right? And remember, you can add like more stuff over here, right? So rotate it. Let's see, no, 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 no. It's this rotation, there we go. Sometimes you don't need to rotate it much to really make it feel. And then like this grass over here, make it really small, right? Like that's the, the key is if you just add a couple of things and then make the things up close, really close. And things that are higher up on the screen, further away. Nice just like things around the map, right? Like, I really like these flowers. And so the flowers here are gonna be huge. Can I rotate them? No. So like these flowers though, want them to be huge, right? Cause they're, he, they're in the front of the map, right? These things are gonna be ginormous. And then like over here, right? Just, just a little smaller, right? A little bit smaller. And then like over here, as small as they'll go. As teeny tiny as, as, as you can let them <laughs> before they like disappear into the map. There we go. Nice. I think it's starting to really come together, my friends. See, like add a tulip here, make it really big. And then have a tulip here, make it a little bit smaller. And then have like a tulip over here. Make it real small. Very cool. Very cool. All right. I think we've got a nice like view now. We got a nice 3D feel. So now the question is, uh, we I'd really like to add like a sun or like some clouds, right? I've seen clouds done in a couple of interesting ways. Also very important is to make a new no monkey placement zone and to make that this radius here, right? Wait, delete that. Right, you wanna make sure that no one can like place in the sky. I mean, it's not that important, but if you want it to be like kind of neat, you wanna be able to have this, this level to it. There we go, add this here. Add one here, kind of rotate around. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't want you don't want your monkeys floating in the sky. You want it to be a little bit realistic now. <laughs> that's not bad. And let's rotate it. Oh yeah, we got okay. Okay, that's not okay. Oh, what's happening? I'm shutting down. That's a cloud. Look at that, my friends. We got some. We got clouds. 
We got clouds. You're going to rotate rocks. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure you don't see that, like, lip. Like, see how that lip is there? That is not what you want. That is very not good looking. <laughs> what if you could put monkeys, like, on the clouds? Would that That'd be pretty funny? And there we have it, my friends. Your very own 3D map. Of course, you got to pick which movies, music you want to... Let's see. We got to pick our music. Super important. Super important. Hmm. Ah, this seems like a nice... We'll have this be the music. Just a nice, peaceful vibe. Nice. A how-to. Oh, yeah, we know how to play. Nice. Save and exit. Let's go. Let's... And now we got to play through our map. Let's give it a whirl. Let's actually try the map out. What's the best way to, like... Is it best to have, just have, like, a dartling gunner on the path? So, let's see. So, let's see how the balloons come along the track. So, oh, cool! So they come up here, and then they come around, and then they... Oh, you can kind of see them go through the trees there. That's a little weird. But I think that's still more than fine. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And please, if you make an awesome 3D map, let me know, and I'll see you guys later. Peace!